Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Hassan. Wa alaikum salam. Thanks for joining us today. Welcome. Uh, could you introduce yourself? My name is Sayyid Hassan Raja Jafri. I'm a physician, a cancer specialist. I work here in medical school in Houston. What made you choose this occupation? Well, when I was making a decision about my profession, I wanted to do something based in science and medicine seemed like a good choice. And um, I um, sort of tried to understand what the profession's requirement is and what your outlook would be after you have finished training. And it seemed like a good choice to me. What advice would you give to a student looking to pursue a career in the medical field? I think first of all, we should, people should look at as whether they have interest in this field or not. That's very important. If they have interest, the next thing they should do is talk to people who are already in this profession and see what their lifestyle is, you know, and what talk to them and try to understand what it requires to be a physician. In my understanding, to be a physician, uh, first of all, you have to be very hardworking, you know, because this is not something which you can achieve, you know, in few years. It may require uh, several years, sometimes decades of your life. Number two, you should love to read and uh, learn because the learning in physician as a physician never stops. Throughout your career, you will have to continue learning, reading articles, journals, you know. And then uh, you should have a bit of compassion, you know, because you want to help people and you want to uh, have their best interests in your mind all the time. So I think combination of hard work, uh, desire to learn and have a little bit of compassion, I think really helps. How does one go about choosing which field to specialize in? I think after becoming a physician, you have several options open. You can just be a general practitioner, you could be a surgeon, you could be a radiologist, a pathologist, or you may not even want to see patients. You can join uh, government and FDA, you can join pharmaceutical companies, you know, uh, or you can even go to public health and join UNICEF or WHO. So there are several options open. For me, um, oncology was uh, something that I wanted to do because I like the disease process, I like how the treatments were given and, and the lifestyle of an oncologist. Could you elaborate on what exactly is cancer and what are some of the main causes of it? So cancer is a growth in the body which can happen in any part of the body. It could be breast, it could be colon, it could be lung. And the tendency of cancer is to spread in the body which can be fatal. In fact, cancer is the second leading cause of death in US. Some of the causes of cancer are mostly related to lifestyle. Um, people smoke, um, they drink, um, they're obese, or they have follow a particular diet, let's say a lot of red meat those could be risk factors of cancer. What type of routine checkups do you recommend for early diagnosis of cancer? So it's very important for people to understand they need to go through what's called cancer screening. After a certain age group, let's say after age 50, you should visit your doctor and undergo cancer screening, which could include mammograms for breast cancer, colonoscopy for colon cancer, uh, CT scans for lung cancer, uh, or cervical pap smear for cervical cancer. So screening is done in people who don't have any symptoms of cancer, but I think after starting age 50, people should visit the doctor at least once a year to look for, uh, for cancer screening. In addition to being a physician, we know that you're also an author and have produced a documentary as well. How does a physician still find time to pursue other passions? So I think one has to uh, understand that their most valuable thing in their life is their time. And once you have that understanding, then you don't want to waste any time and you want to make best use of it. Um, so uh, maybe sleeping less or, you know, hanging out, you know, wasting time less is the one strategy one can use. So I wanted to write a book on uh, the subject of science and religion because I felt that many people with science background don't uh, accept religion or directly reject it. So I wanted to write a book that can um, answer some of the questions that the atheists or the secular people raise. And once the book was written, it was, you know, some people, those who wrote it, uh, read it, uh, really liked it. But, you know, a lot, lot of people don't read books. So I wanted to see maybe if we can make a documentary on this. Uh, so everybody can access it. We can, um, and so that's why we produced the documentary. To get a copy of Dr. Joffrey's book and to watch the documentary, you can find the links in the description below. To reach out to Dr. Joffrey, check out his profile at link313.org. This video is brought to you by Link313. To sign up for an account, visit link313.org and expand your communal network.